Hey everybody, welcome back to the AWI Review. I know it's been about eight months since my last update, but I did want to pop on just to give you a little bit of information on what I've been doing and where I'm at in the hobby. Um, so real quick, um, the, last, the last time I did a video, I was really into Kava 47. I had just gotten out of AWI, um, and, and of course the reasons why I got out of AWI was, it was just getting too monotonous, painting mini after mini after mini, usually with the same uniform, usually, you know, even the same model occasionally, over and over again. Um, you know, some people find that very um, almost refreshing or, or soothing or uh, calming. I, I didn't, I found it pretty tedious after a while, so I needed to step away. And in doing so, I found World War II miniatures, even though many of them were the same uniform, it was fewer. I went from you know, having to paint, um, you know, a regiment of 24 down to squads of 12 or 6. It was much more manageable for me to do. And uh, after a while, you know, excuse me, Conflict 47 and Bolt Action, as much as I really enjoy playing those games, um, I, I was getting burnt out on on what I was doing. So, you know, I was constantly being sent tanks and miniatures to review and um not that i wasn't grateful obviously i was very grateful to to everything that i was sent i still have piles of tanks i mean i literally have buckets of of shermans just sitting around unpainted and and just decided you know i needed to, to break free from that i was in a rut i've been i've been posting video after video of reviews of tanks and and you know model world war ii you know uh vehicles and you know, after, you know, after a long time of doing that, you, you just want to get into something else and do something else. And I didn't know if the channel was ready for me to just abruptly go to a different subject yet again. Uh, so, I, you know, stepping away really freed me in a sense. It allowed me to really explore other genres in the hobby. And the one genre that I latched onto uh, was Ancients. And when I say Ancients, I, I mean, um, you know, ancient samurai ancient greeks um primarily being the two uh, ancient romans being the okay being the three um you know categories within that genre that i really wanted to focus on and not only that but i also was able to get into fantasy a little bit and you know D, &D really kind of was a, a great uh segue uh for tabletop because i had never played D, &D before last year so that was you know, quite an experience for me. I really enjoyed it. So now I'm full in to D and D. I've got like all the books, and you know, I'm big in the fantasy grounds, and it, it's kind of nuts. So <laughs> my, my wife and I are both into it, and and we're really kind of enjoying it. So anyway, um, going into that genre of ancients and fantasy also opened up a variety of new painting techniques that I had never needed before. Non-metallic metal. Um, you know, contrasting colors, you know, color wheel, uh, important, importance of color wheels and, you know, uh, importance of, of vibrance and colors as well. Not just, not just choosing a color, but being able to layer up and, and be really effective at getting that color out there to, for people to really, to really see and, and to find it, make it visually appealing. And I'm not saying I was a terrible painter before, but, you know, I, I think that, you know, as you can see in front of you, the stuff that I've painted in the past eight months has, has really kind of gone um, above and beyond what I had painted in the past. And, uh, you know, I owe a lot of that to some YouTubers out there, Dr. Faust Painting Clinic, um, Peter Harrison, who does uh, the, uh, uh, I'll put, I, for life of me, it's, it's like two o'clock in the morning here, so my, my brain's fried. Um, uh, the miniature, he's, I think he's um, the war painter, right? Um, uh, who else is, who I really owe a lot to, uh, Ghoul's Painting Tips, and, um, um, there's, there's a couple others, I'll, I'll pop them in the, the description below, so you guys can check out their channel, um, but yeah, I, I really owe quite a bit to them, and, and just learning these new techniques, uh, I also owe a great deal to Andy Hobday, uh, from Footsore Miniatures, uh, as well as Mark Farr, um, those two gents really uh, have been really great uh, to me personally, but also to uh, 
towards getting me involved in skirmish game or gaming, or I should say tabletop skirmish games. Um, so I started with uh, the Samurai Test of Honor, Samurai game Test of Honor, and Test of Honor has had really drawn me in, and so I started uh, buying up all of their sets, and they sent me a whole bunch of miniatures to review, and one of these days, I swear I'm going to get to it. Um, but I've painted up some Onobu Geisha, so they're, the, they're like kind of like female samurai, so I got three here from their from their box set. I painted up the whole range. It's over on my desk, but I pulled three out that I really like to show you guys. And then this is from the game Kensi, but because I got into samurais, I ended up picking up some other ranges, and I just liked her, so I painted her uh, yellow with a pattern on her kimono. Um, and then, you know, following Test of Honor, um, you know, Andy Hobday said, you know, we're going to do this game called Mortal Gods, and it's going to focus on the ancient Greeks. And I was like, oh, man. Oh, my God. I have to, I have to invest in this game. So um, with Mortal Gods um, became, you know, really popular you know, about six months ago, it really kind of blew up. I invested in that game, and uh, now now I've got all the box sets, which I will review in detail as soon as I can figure out how to upload from my PC after editing them all, because it's going to take a while. Um, you know, and then I plan on reviewing those, but I've done a lot of a lot of miniatures for that as well. So here I have a Spartan uh, Lachagas. I have my Athenian Lachagas. Uh, which is uh, kind of like the leader of the war band, and then I have a mercenary, um, a mercenary hero character that I painted up. And this is actually a conversion from multiple Victrix kits. And I have uh, Etruscans because I'm getting into Etruscans now. So I have an Etruscan leader here, and then I have an Etruscan um, a group of hoplites, heavy hoplites, and then Spartan um, uh, Perioikoi. I guess they would be like. Um, uh, archers, but they were recruited from recruited from the local population of Laconia. They weren't necessarily Spartans per se. So, um, and then I've also got into some fantasy, like I said. So I picked up this um, uh, Dark Sword Miniatures uh, Paladin, and then I converted this guy over here with the wings. He's not done yet, so don't judge him too harshly. But I cut off the original head because I <laughs> thought it was kind of a little a little cro uh, crooked. Uh, the way that it was molded, and I, get, I put on a Corinthian helm from Footsore Miniatures. They have sets of ancient Greek helms, different kinds of helms available on their website at Footsore, so check those out if you're interested. And I also got the wings, so the body and the wings are Reaper. This was the original Mercenary mini, I think, from Reaper that I picked up. So again, he's not done yet, so, you know, <laughs> there's still a lot of way to go yet. But the point I'm trying to bring here is, is that I've done a lot with my own hobbying abilities in this time and now that I have a better grasp of what I'm doing hopefully I can bring that to this channel and and really bring you guys some quality content because you deserve it and I don't think it's fair to hoard information um, you know I learned how to do all of this from other people sharing their information and if I can give you some shortcuts that I've learned to, to paint things like non-metallic metal quickly um, to layer quickly, to do certain things in a speedy manner that doesn't detract from quality. Like this miniature right here, I painted up in two hours. So if I can do that, you can definitely do it. And you probably do it better than I did. And, and that's kind of what I want to do for you. And I just need a little bit more time. So I ask you all to be patient. And uh, in the meantime, uh, I look forward to hearing from you all in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if you've found it interesting. I'm sorry I've been away for so long, um, but I, I do hope that I can, um, you know, give you more quality content in the future. So thanks everyone. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, it is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Later.